Hooked up! Yes! This one might be bigger. What is going on guys? Today we are back with another video. It is me. We got Shelby. We are ice fishing. We got Surly and the newest New member. Adventure dog. Hopefully she's freezing. What's but her name? Her name is Stella. This is her first uh, filming day. This is only her third day ice fishing. So we'll see but, how she does. Yeah, I got talked into getting a new puppy. Oopsie. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, we are out here. We're doing some ice fishing today. It is a gorgeous, uh, Midwinter day, I guess we're kind of at that point now. And uh, today, what are we fishing for, Shelby? We're doing pretty much Shelby's favorite thing: bass fishing. Bass fishing, and maybe some walleyes. Who knows? But uh, we kind of just got out to the spot, and Clear Lakes. We're definitely going to run the uh, Market Pursuit underwater camera. Hopefully, get some sick footage um, on there. We're going to kind of talk about smallmouth are just kind of underrated through this. We're going to talk all about basically how you find them, how you catch them, and just some weird things about the smallmouth that you know, seem to work in the middle of winter. So um, stay tuned, hopefully it's gonna be exciting. We gotta get the camera down, we gotta make sure there's even fish here, and uh, I might just kinda hole hop around while Shelby's in the shack, we'll see what happens, but I do appreciate you guys watching, it should be exciting. If you're not yet, please subscribe to this channel, it helps my channel out a lot, and hopefully this channel helps you a lot. So we got some work to do here, stay tuned, let's get it going on. All right, we are set up in the shack. Um, I got the underwater camera situated. And the good news is we are already seeing smallmouth down there, and uh, which is obviously a good sign. But um, smallmouth are kind of goofy through the ice, especially in the middle of winter. A lot of times if they're shallow, you can catch them really well. Like they'll be very aggressive and biting. And you guys have seen us film some of that kind of stuff. Today we're fishing one of these deeper spots, but because not every lake uh, do these fish use a lot of shallow water in the winter. So we're fishing one of these deeper spots. Um, and a lot of these kind of spots we fish for these kind of fish um, are also good walleye spots. And there's probably gonna be some walleyes here but um, it, a lot of them will range from like 20 to 30 feet of water there'll be deep humps with either rock or cribs on them this one has cribs on like you can see and uh, that's kind of what we're looking for and obviously you know drop a camera down right away you can see there's fish here a lot of times and anytime you're fishing cribs that underwater camera plays a huge role in what we're doing um, just because it helps so much to kind of see what kind of fish are down there how they're moving through it and uh, how they're reacting to baits and that those kind of things but um, yeah so I'm gonna get Shelby in here and the dogs in a second they are currently running around all over the place out there which is good burning out some energy so dad can sleep tonight and uh yeah let's get it going on hopefully shelby will catch some fish oh here you go oh, okay oh, oh shoot oh, oh my, my god. god what, what? the hell you got him Oh, hooked up! Dude, that fish came in and swiped so many times. Whoa, it feels heavy. That was so cool. <laughs> just got the camera down. We've actually just got solid fish under there. Take your time at the hole. Oh, look at that, baby. Nice. Oh, it feels heavy because of this rod. <laughs> yeah, we're fishing a super light rod, but wow, was that some cool footage. On the little, I don't even know what color Google Eye this is, but... Little tungsten jig and a plastic on there. Bass number one. Been here for like a minute. Can't complain about that. We'll let that guy go. Because there's just a whole bunch of them swimming around down there. And uh, hopefully we'll catch some more. Oh my gosh. Get back in the hole. Good work, baby. Watch out. He's turning. Oh, he's turning around. He's like, oh, that was stupid. Like, second thought. That looks pretty good. I haven't seen one of these things hanging around in a while. Oh, we got him. Okay, we got finally. How's he feel, babe? Uh, Just heavy on the old ultra Yeah, light. it's hard to tell when it's on this rod. Fun, though. I've not been here for very long. Just all oh, over on the camera. Uh, oh, he's right here. Oh, oh babe. Oh, nicer a one. one. There we go. How much fun is that? Oh, I love it. Oh, I'll let you hold on. Look how porky he is. He's a fat one. Oh, look at that one. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> so much fun to watch him on the camera. A little lethargic, but once they bite, it's so much fun. This is a nicer one. Super cool. Okay. Well, this is pretty cool. I'm into it. Shelfster's favorite kind of fishing sit in the shack with the dogs underwater camera down catching bass so 
I used to not care about sitting in the shack until this camera. This camera is just so much fun. This one might be heavy. Just pull in line. Okay, let's see, I don't see him yet. It's so much fun on this light rod. But also hard to tell how big they are. And the camera can be deceiving. Oh, he is feisty. I don't wanna lose this one. Okay, not as big as I was thinking, but still a nice bass, and he's beautiful. Look at the stripes on that one. Feisty. Okay, get in there. How's the bite been so far? Good again? Good. Are you having a good time? Always. Because that is the first and foremost important thing for me right now. Is it so, I'm having a good time? Is it you're having a good time right here? Thank you. But anyways, so what Shelby's using is kind of a finesse small plastic and a tungsten jig. And a lot of times this catches more fish for those super finicky fish as opposed to like a spoon or even live bait. I don't know why that is, but a lot of times your tungsten jigs in like uh, four and five mil size. This is the Acme Google Eye tungsten jig. And this is the shiz color and it's just got a little long slender red plastic on there and uh, just kind of working that thing real small it's almost like crappie fishing when you're fishing this way and uh, she is using the Elliot and this is the 30 inch noodle and uh, that's kind of the setup it's basically like your crappie setup and uh, for some reason these fish just get really keyed in this kind of stuff when they won't bite a lot of your standard presentations like a spoon with a minnow head um, or like a, a, a you know some kind of minnow bait down there or just a big piece of live bait a lot of times if they're shallow that's the stuff they'll bite but if they're out deeper a lot of times going real finessey like this especially if you're around cribs um, can pay off so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of here because Shelby's already yelling at me to get out of the shack and uh, let her do her thing again Got them. They are biting like crazy now. Oh, just hear that drag. I don't want to lose them. Just feisty. The ones I want to bite are just. This one's nicer. Look at that chunker. <laughs> oh, love it. Beautiful Hayward bass. Okay, we'll put you back. Yeah. Caught on my thumb always. Come in. Got him. Hooked up. Okay. This doesn't say, it seem like a big one, but I'll take any size. And oh god, this freaking reel! Oh, he's feisty down there. Oh, you can see him. Got him. Oh, almost. Oh. Okay. I'll give you guys a look here. He'll open his gosh darn mouth. Oh, and lost the plastic again. There you go, just a small one. But I don't care. So much fun. There you go, come on. 
How's your day? Good. Definitely out fishing you. Are you jealous? No, you are out fishing me, but it's okay. <laughs> I don't really care too much. Straight killing it, dog. You are killing it, dog. Good work. Thank you. How are the actual dogs? They are good. Sleeping. Lazy little bums. All right, well apparently this is Shelby's video today. She is the one catching all the fish. I'm kind of out checking some ice and uh, doing some hole hopping and just not having the same result Shelby is, but that's all right. Um, but what I want to talk about quick is just kind of how, if you are going to come out here and try this small thing, kind of the likely spots to look. And uh, for the most spot part, when these fish winter, they're wintering in deep water. And a lot of times post turnover, like mid-October mid on, you start seeing a lot of these fish on a lot of these deep rock or deep crib areas. A lot of times it's deep humps or deep points or deep flats, things like that. And those are the, definitely the two things we look for, cribs or rock, or some spots will have cribs and rock, right? And uh, a lot of times it's real quick to just drop a camera down on these spots, because most of the time when you find them, there's gonna be a lot of them in kind of a smaller area. and. Uh, that's exactly what we're doing so if you look at your map you know you're looking for like i said humps and points that kind of top out and i would say 20 to 30 feet of water and a lot of times the lakes that have a lot of these spots are lakes where have a basin of like 40 50 60 or, or deeper water and uh, a lot of your clear lakes will set up this way so kind of keep that in mind that's what we're doing these fish can be super super lethargic like you've probably seen um on the underwater camera i'm assuming you've probably seen a lot of fish come up and just like barely move for it right and that's obviously a good indication to downsize of those fish are just flying around rampantly biting and get away with fishing something bigger um, which if you can do that it's worth it because a lot of times bigger baits bigger hooks you end up hooking and landing a lot more of those fish but um, that's kind of the deal keep those things in mind generally Wisconsin's going to be cool this year because they just opened up a catch and release bass season for the northern zone that goes the whole season now so there's not like a dead period where you can't fish for game or for largemouth or smallmouth between like the end of February and that first of may now now you can legally target and catch and release fish that time of year which is cool because generally late winter once those days start getting longer like mid-february on they get super super ramped up and then they'll be biting much better and they'll be biting a bunch of different presentations so um, that should be a cool bite as well which i'm sure we'll probably film at some point but for the middle of winter catching a whole bunch of bass on the underwater camera too cool Got him. Hooked up. Do you see what I mean though? Where I do not even feel it if I'm not paying attention. Oh God. Okay, Stella, you are gonna fall out again. Oh God. Oh God. out and I am just cramping her style not as big as a few of the other ones but they are finally biting again and we are happy with that aren't we well maybe you're not but I am there you go near the hole. Oh. Okay. Got him. <laughs> Jig came out of his mouth, but I got him. Oh God, he's just feisty. <laughs> Tommy, I'm, I'm there you go. look at him, he's feisty. <laughs> Get him back in. Good work. Thanks. You want to do the outro since it's your show? Yeah, today it's the Shelby Kilbarter show, per usual. Uh, Tom didn't catch anything. I've been having a blast just sitting in the nice warm shack with the dogs, catching bass left and right. And it's so much fun watching them on the camera. Like, I don't think I ever want to go back to a flasher. Oh, do you want me to keep going? I'll, I'll, I'll finish it out the outro. I never know what to, oh, please subscribe, all that thing. <laughs> well, I appreciate you guys for watching this video. 
Um, just a quick, short little afternoon outing. And uh, Shelby was a star, caught a whole bunch of nice small wolf on camera. Super fun. And uh, I wasted a whole bunch of time on different spots. But um, thanks to you guys for watching. If you're not yet, please subscribe to this channel. It helps me out a lot. Hopefully this channel helps you guys out a lot as well. And uh, yeah, we might switch gears. We might move spots. Or we might just stay here and kind of get ready for maybe a little walleye window this evening. Who knows? But um, I do appreciate you guys watching. Shelby had fun on this one. Punch it out, Shelby.